I guess buying figures for the first time can be very daunting for many people because we have absolutely no knowledge of what we're gonna pre-order. And if you're new to buying figures, I can't stress enough how important it is to do some research. And that's including watching in-hand videos because I am quite frustrated opening this week's resin figure. When I can't get my hands on the character I want, sometimes it appears in the form of resin figure. Today we have Conan from Naruto. I grew up with Naruto and my most favorite character of them all is, I don't think you can guess it, it is from the Hyuga clan, Hyuga Hinata. But today we have with us, really I hope it is Chocobo Studios again, but we have Conan from Sea King Studio. So what I'm really frustrated about opening such boxes is, these boxes are a big gamble of a few hundred bucks. If it's bad, you're gonna get stuck with it for a long time. You can't sell it and it costs you a few hundred bucks. This time we have a personalized Velcro. Honestly, I don't keep them so it doesn't quite matter. For this release, it really does look like it should consist of a lot of parts. But we do have quite a bit of parts. I also like to put out a disclaimer at this point that some of my statements are just personal opinion. One is, I don't really like base diorama, when diorama is also the base, or rather the base consists of the diorama, or the diorama and the base is a single entity. Why? Because it doesn't look uniform on a shelf of figures. Right off the box, the diorama is small but phenomenal. Quite a lot of different textures and finishes and I particularly like the wall of waves at the back. Also this base can be lighted up, but let's check it out later. I think we have just reviewed one of the best parts of the figure. The clothes are battle damaged and it's showing a little skin but not in a sexual way. Broken parts are covered by Conan's paper, which is quite interesting. The head sculpt, let's be fair here, the sculpt is pretty detailed and the color on the paper on top of the head is pretty anime accurate. They should be in purple. But I just don't like her face. She has an oval face in the manga, but here we have one that's fairly chiseled. The face and the proportions are what I value most in the figure, mm, so I don't quite really like this face. But that's just my opinion right here. We have a lot of small parts as attachment, but what I don't understand is if the parts are so small, why not just sculpt it together with the bigger parts? My guess is separated parts are easier to paint. They gave us a stand and a golden invaluable coin. I got a fifth resin figure they made, I'm quite happy with it. Also included is a USB cable to light up the lights. At a glance, the full body looks really cool, I must say. I don't find anything interesting with the legs. They are very long legs. And the choice of the tall nail colors, a little too striking. And because it is resin, maybe the purple paint on her leg is a tad too shiny. The clothes is a little thick too. However, the best part of the body is the dynamic pose. But dynamic poses still can't save the normal paint job on this figure. Honestly, I'm not digging this figure. Her face is not my time and the paint on the body is normal at best. Yeah, like I said, normal. I must say, this is not bad, but it's not good either. There are many ways to enjoy a figure. I guess I'm not buying another Sea King product for a while, but I must say that her dynamic pose is a spectacle. So I will keep her in a good spot. I also forget to say that the base is not flat. It is rocking. The likes on the base create quite a spectacle, I guess. But if you place the figure in a cabinet and never take it out again, the LED is really not needed because you can't even reach the figure to switch it on. Well, we have came to the end. I hope you like this week's episode on resin figures. And if you wish to support us in our unboxings, please subscribe to us so we can have more opportunities to bring you more videos. I want to let everybody know I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. So next week, 
we are gonna bring you something you have never seen on this channel. It will be a Final Fantasy merch, so till then, please buy your figures wisely, and I'll see you soon.